and today I decided to put up a video for you guys. It is a reaction video to a video I saw that almost like it blew up. In a week it went from zero to a million views and it is titled, where is it? Bri is Rylan on less videos than the other girls. Here's the truth by All About Brooklyn and Bailey. But I am here today to make sure you guys know that I am loved, I am not rejected, my family loves me, I'm not, I am the favorite child, clearly, I mean, come on. So before we get into the video, make sure you click that big red subscribe button down below, and let's get on with the video. Okay, let's do this. Okay, it says, there's Hey guys, today I will try once and for all to prove to y'all that Rylan is not rejected from the family, and that Mindy loves her just as much as the others because many of you commented that you felt bad for her that she was in less videos and many other things. Okay. There, there's like another, <laughs> so there's another slide the yeah. First of all, I'm gonna show y'all why people think that she's not liked, and then I'm going to show you proofs that she likes her life and her family loves her much. Probably when I was little, I got get, uh, lost in Disney World. Okay, you guys, what you see, getting lost is something that happens to like every yeah. kid. This is like, I'm forgotten because I got lost one time. Like if but that's you, just like I was a little kid. If you are like at the age that I am, if you are a 17 year old person and you've never been lost or left by your family, <laughs> then wow. Just that's impressive. that's impressive. I mean, especially, you know, I mean, I get it. If you're a single child, then it's like, maybe a little bit less likely to get lost, but when you have a family of six kids and you're walking around in like Disneyland, yeah. all it takes <laughs> is for them to take like two steps away from you and all of a sudden they're gone, so. Yeah. I mean, we found her, so I'm sleep. We like I'm her. here. Enough to look for her. Dustin. Oh, Daxton again. Brooklyn. Brooklyn. We're missing one. <laughs> she doesn't remember Rylan. We're missing Rylan. Uh-huh, uh -huh, Rylan. Okay, but see, she got it. So, like, what is that? I mean, yeah, she said like, my name. I was just last. Maybe older than one. Maybe two years old in this video. If Pace is your favorite, then who's your least favorite? Um, why? Rylan? Why? <laughs> she spits at me. She oh. threatens me. <laughs> she bites me. And she punches me. <laughs> wow, sounds like real siblings. She okay. Me. She okay. Okay. Me. But <laughs> there's a reason behind why he said that, and why is that, Rylan? Uh, you and Daxton do not get along. <laughs> Everybody has that one sibling, no? I mean, like these are just generic family things, right? They're just family. If you have multiple yeah. kids in your family, there's always going to be one that you get along with less than you get along with the other one, and that's just Rylan and Daxton. <laughs> that's how it is. That's just. <laughs> I would never say that. And, Rylan is and really, again, like I wouldn't say that. Brooke wouldn't say that. He's like four or five in this video. So. Yeah, and he's little. Again, little kids just say things. He's just making up this. Because the thing is, when Rylan makes the lunches, they're Nothing always disgusting. Is Every time. About One time it. I opened my lunchbox and they're rotting strawberries. So that's what we mean by nasty lunch foods. Oh, okay. okay. The story behind so, this is I had to do lunches for the whole year. She, this was my job. This is true though. This is Ryland's only chore is making lunches. Well, not anymore. Not anymore, but it was. <laughs> and Rylan just got lazy about it. Well, and it was started like putting the same things in the lunches every day and eventually <laughs> they would be like rotten. So this isn't in, this isn't okay, like us hating like, like, on her. We're like it's having like literally Ryland didn't make good lunches. That's just the, that's just how it was. For having two kids, like if it's two kids, you just have to make two lunches. But I had to make six. So just finding something there was six of in this house is just it's hard difficult. enough. It's true. So just going through and finding six things of ranch or we just six bags of carrots I can use lunch. or whatever. Like just, I would throw them in there and put yeah, them in the fridge. There's and a valid reason like, that. We'd always be like, oh, the carrots are rotten. But then like once you feed six people with the amount of carrots we have in the house, eventually you have to start digging into the bottom of the fridge. To yeah, find like the there's nothing. Last there. serving of carrots, which end up being rotten. So I guess that's why you just ended up with a bad yeah. lunch every once in a while. And it's just hard to make six sandwiches. Yeah. They started from birth sharing rooms, so that's just what they're used to. But when we moved to our new house, we had to take two girls that weren't initially together and put them together in the same room, and that was much more difficult. 
And in fact, we are still dealing with this same battle because I have one daughter that like refuses to acknowledge that she shares a room and she would rather sleep on the couch at night than sleep in the room with her sister. Sharing a room. So Rylan has been obligated to share her room with Paisley? <laughs> when was the last time you shared a room? Two years know. ago. That literally. was a long time ago. No, and the reason for that was because we only had four bedrooms in and the house kids. and six kids. And so obviously Brooke and I were like, okay, we'll share our room because you know we're twins. And then um Daxon's the only boy. Camry like, was the, only the awkward yeah. teenager where she's like, I don't want to be with anyone. I'm going through awkward phases. So I got to Paisley. Rylan and Paisley. And we're just like, okay, we'll put them in a room together. And then we figured out that Rylan didn't want to share a room. So we yeah. switched her and Daxon and then that was that. That yeah, that was the end of it. I so, don't share a room. She hasn't shared, she hasn't shared a room with Paisley in a long time, too. Or anyone. Yeah. I know you do. Right. I think I know his name. Oh, what's his name? I can't remember. Oh wow, wow. <laughs> One of her friends. Boys. Have kids. Fifth grade boys. <laughs> Fourth grade boys. Oh. oh. <laughs> oh wow. All right, people. This, this is just is not fair. This is just having you try six, having five siblings yeah. and remembering what grade, when their birthday is, and how old they are. It changes all the time, and it's always constantly changing. Yeah, you, I'm not you, good you with numbers. Things. <laughs> I'm not good with numbers. I cannot keep it straight for the life of me, and I know that every person that has more than four siblings understands this completely. Because I've talked to some people where I'm like, "How old is your sister?" And they're like, mm, "Let me count. See how I know that she's mm, 13." So I know yeah. this is a common thing. It's difficult to remember, trust me. But I know what grade you are in now. You're in seventh grade. Yeah, because I just switched. See, I know what grade she's in. I know this. I'm getting better about it. Okay, here we go. Here's the first. I'm ready. Oh, oh, what? Oh, yeah. that's cute and, and cute and adorable. Cute and adorable. And fluffy. And amazing and my favorite. Except for Rylan, because she's my favorite. Oh, so you said Oh, so favorite. I said my favorite, and that was Ryland's. That was fast. I just love my sister. Okay. <laughs> that is enough. That was proof right there. She has a lot of fun with her sisters. Yes, that is true. We have a lot of fun in this house. Just recently get two serves over the next. Yeah. Spoils future, future, uh, See, I knew what I knew what sport she was in and how many serves she got. Wow, what sport I am. Minnie says that she loves her for different things. <laughs> don't always love <laughs> what? Okay, play that. So she's saying what mom says. She's kind of a little funky like and a little fiery and kind According of a little bit her. of a fiery um, a pest and likes to create drama on Likes to create siblings. drama. But she's so funny and creative and she's always good for a laugh. <laughs> yeah, and I Riley makes us laugh. <laughs> Kind of a She's just kind of a pest, <laughs> but she makes us laugh. Do you, oh, this is a good question. Do you get in a lot of fights with your sisters? And if so, why? Yes. <laughs> uh, because they are being mean. Rylan answered yes, okay. <laughs> Rylan answered I was being yes. honest. <laughs> Hannah wants to know, what is it like being the middle child in your family, and which is better, being a little sister or a big sister? Being a little sister is better, because then you don't have to do all this stuff that the other kids have to do. No, it's true though. Responsibilities. Yeah, it's being a little child. <laughs> Responsibilities. Our number four is the only girl in the home with short hair, not true anymore, and doesn't enjoy having her hair filmed as much as the other girls. Which is true, Which I did it. We received, we received so many requests and comments for short hairstyles, especially recently, that we sat her down and told her that it would be her decision. If she said no, we would not ask her again. And then she said yes, and that's why you got some short hairstyles. I got, yeah. But yeah. Rylan's always been one that's like not, she doesn't, you don't like I just didn't like having, yeah. Like it wasn't like, I mean, it was my choice, and I didn't exactly like having my hair done. Yeah. Not for any reason. Even now, though, if we were to like say, who wants to make a video? I don't think Rylan would be like the first to volunteer. Well, it depends on the video. If it's yeah. like hair, I might be like hesitant. Yeah. But if it was like slime, uh, slime Rylan's or all for it. Like fun challenges, I would tell you. So that's why you don't see her in so many videos, is because Rylan doesn't always want to be a part of them. And so if you think, like, oh my gosh, Rylan's like 
not loved because she's not in the videos. <laughs> like, you'll probably mostly mainly see her in the vlogs, and that's probably yeah. it, especially because Brooklyn and I have our own channel, and Camry has her own channel, so you see got us a lot more yeah. than we see Rylan because she doesn't have her own channel. Yeah, and I can't be in every video on Brooklyn yeah. and Bailey's channel. And I don't know, do sense. you want your own channel? I mean, I, I have a year to figure it out. We have a year so. to figure it out, so maybe you guys will feel like you could see her more if she starts her own channel, who knows? I don't even know what I would do. I don't know. Same. Okay, this video in the background right now is me and Brooklyn coming back from our Peru trip and we like ran up and hugged Because we were gone for like a month. And Rylan. So. And we were gone for like a month. So if we didn't like Rylan, we wouldn't hug her. Wow. But we did. So that means we like her. Well, there you have it, you guys. Rylan is loved. I'm loved. Rylan, how do you feel about this video? <laughs> this video, I think she had the right, she was, yeah, she was trying to help, she was trying to prove all those people that said I was not loved or whatever, wrong. I like it, but some of the things were false, like in the beginning with people, other people were saying, in any video, if I like walked outside, it was like, oh my gosh, she's running away or something. It was just funny, yeah. Well, that's what yeah. happens, that's what happens <laughs> when you edit things that don't normally go together and then you splice them into a video that makes it looks like they're all trying to yeah. you know stack up together that's just clever editing that's all that is but I think it's funny that I her reaction because you know we saw this video climbing 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 it started getting hot on the internet and she came home from school one day and I'm like Rylan have you seen this video and she's like Yes, I've had so many people at school ask me about this. And I'm like, are you okay? Like, I was a little worried that she was gonna feel bad about it. I'm like, are you all right, Rylan? Like, you don't, do we need to talk about this video? Are there like underlying feelings that I don't know about? And I was just like, nope, keep she it up. Like, I thought it was She just funny. started laughing. She was like, this is so funny, mom. I think it's hilarious. So Rylan, if you know Rylan <laughs> at all, you would know that she's definitely one of our funniest children if not the funniest child, so she um, certainly has a good self-esteem and certainly has a good self sense of humor about her, which is great, because it would be kind of hard to follow Brooklyn <laughs> Bailey and Camry, I think. Huh, Rylan? Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. Rylan also is by far my child with the cutest nose. nose. Yes. Ever since she was teeny, teeny, tiny, little, tiny baby, day one, I was like, oh, she has the most darling little tiny nose. It's so cute. So Rylan's little nosy still is my favorite of everyone in the family. Rylan looks just like my mom. She is like channeling my mother completely. So she definitely takes after all of my like German genes. Rylan just has always done her thing. Rylan is like her personality. She's always doing Rylan, like she just has her own little personality and she's not afraid to just be herself. And she's obsessed with slime. Oh yeah, obsessed. I, I think one day, how many were there in your room? <laughs> like 17. 17 slimes. Or more, I don't remember. Uh... Seriously, people think you're the least favorite <laughs> child. Everybody. I am the least favorite McKnight child in the family. You're the least favorite child. I'm the least favorite child in the family. Oh no, when we watched the video, we had a, we kind of had a good chuckle, didn't we? Oh, yeah. Kind of watching it, thinking that people think that, that you're one of the least favorite kids in our family. Seriously. For the last two or three years, I was volunteering to be your volleyball coach. Oh yeah. You remember? Well, not last year, but yeah. Yeah, but last year is because you're in school. You're on the school team now, but yeah, so we volunteered. Like, if I didn't care for her, why would I do that, right? When we put you in voice lessons, we had you in dancing lessons. And there's a lot of things that we love about Rylan. Rylan has an amazing voice. Out of all the kids and even out of us as parents, she's been a natural singer. We have lots of recordings that she won't let us share with you that, of her singing because we think she's so amazing. Yeah, yeah, when you're in your bedroom singing and we catch glimpses of you and we showed you like, don't put that on, on a vlog and so we don't. You know what else I love about Rylan? She has no problem making friends. Even when she was like two and we're on vacation and we go to the swimming pool and the rest of us are in the swimming pool, she would toddle, she, cause she could swim at a really young age. She would toddle over and she would sit her feet in the hot tub and she would talk to the 75 year old <laughs> men in the hot tub and carry on a full on conversation with them. Anywhere we went, she was not afraid to talk and that's what we love about her. She is very confident. She has, she has no problems with who she is. She feels really good about her. 
and she makes lots of friends. She's one of our smartest children and Straight A's. I, straight A's. And I tell her all the time that she's my favorite, but guess what my secret is? I tell every child they're my favorite, right? Yeah, he'll be like, hey Riley, you're my favorite. Hey Brooklyn, you're my favorite. No, Paisley, hey, you're my favorite. Yeah, yeah you did Whoever the other day. I'm with, whoever I'm with, right? I tell them you're my favorite. Yeah. For sure. Riley, you're my favorite. <laughs> she does look cute. Ooh. You look nice today. Hi, sweetie. Hi. Just getting some reading done? Yeah. All right, well, the 20s and Cameron are going to be in here in about five minutes. So we're going to catch it all on tape. Come Hi. in. Hi, Mommy. Hi, Mommy. How's it going? She's in Ireland. She's cute. She's cute. What does she look like? Cute, Grandma did a good job on your hair. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, actually, I do. Brooklyn, what do you think? What? Do you want us to give her away? No. <laughs> they picked it out. Hang on. Mommy. Mommy. Who's this? Who's that? Mommy. Mommy. Who's this? Mommy. Who's this? Mommy. Who's this? Mommy. Who's this? Mommy. Kids, you see, guys, I am so loved and I love my family. So make sure you guys hit that blue flower to subscribe for more family vlogs. And make sure you go check out the link to Brooklyn and Bailey's tour. Cameron's gonna be there. I'm gonna be at the Dallas show. It's just gonna be lit, fam. It's gonna be awesome. And make sure you check out right here. This is all our family vlogs. I'm in a lot of them, so definitely go check those out. And bye, guys!